to another weekly reading vlog, Winter Vacation Edition. good a spot as any to tell you I finished two out of the four books I brought with me on this trip. One, How to Lose the Time War, and two, The Dowry of Blood. I finished How to Lose a Time War most of, mostly while we were flying on Saturday. Um, I loved that book. I, without a doubt, know I will reread it at some point. It has everything. Like, a truly unique story. I've never read anything like it. It's science fiction. There's historical references. There's 90s music references that had me laughing out loud on the airplane. And of course, above all else, it's a romance, which all of those inputs, you might not think that that would work, but it absolutely does. So if I hadn't explained it yet, there the story centers around two, what we know them as time agents, red and blue. And they had both are on opposite sides of this war where these agents, these different Factions, or I guess you can call them, we'll call them people, though they're not human like we are, are traveling up and down through time, past, future, all the things, and trying to tweak things in order to change the course of this war for their side, or the other side's trying to tweak it for their side. And they have been at, at it for as long as we know. And then after one particular battle that Red has, you know, altered the course of to benefit her side, there's a letter from Blue. And that just kind of sets this whole thing in motion. It starts as taunting and they're going back and forth, but they get to start to get to know each other. And that slowly changes over the, you know, course of this story and things change into love, a romance blossoms. But of course, they're supposed to be on opposite sides. So where does that leave them? Um, yeah, it was just so unique and 
just so entertaining. Also bittersweet at the end, but you know, you are left with the opportunity to, you know, kind of interpret how you think it will go past the ending, which I don't always love, but I loved it in this book. So highly recommend This Is How You Lose the Time War. I had to put my hat on. I am sitting outside and it's snowing and I'm like 7,000 feet up. No, no, I might not be. Yeah, I think I'm about 7,000 feet up, maybe more right now. So it's a little cold, but I did also finish A Dowry of Blood. I did enjoy it. I, for me, and what I wanted out of a story about Dracula's wives or brides, spouses, one of them's not a woman, I wanted more out of the story. It was still really good. It was really entertaining. Um, you know, it is dark, some of it, but I don't know, like there's so much historical possibilities in this story that I just, I, at the end of it, I was left feeling like it could have been longer. It could have been more robust, but that's just, I think that's just, that's a me thing. Not that I don't think it was really well written and really good. Um, yeah, I was just left feeling like I wanted more out of that story and the history of some of these characters. Yeah, but if you do want a a romance leaning story that is about Dracula, but it's also not exactly, it's more about Dracula's wives. Or okay, I say wives. Spouses, partners, and that's not even all of them. It's just the ones that happen to be in this story, in this part of Dracula's life. You also never get the word Dracula. You are just left speculating, but it's set up as that. Um, but they never actually say the word Dracula, which I just thought was a creative choice. Yeah, so you can tell, like, I really did like it. And I guess I should have known it's not a super long book, but I also feel like it was very simplified. So if that's what you're going for, I think you will love it. I mean, there is romance in it. Obviously, you know, there's some questionable relationships and treatment of spouses. There are plenty of trigger warnings in the beginning of the book, so you can check those. Um, yeah, but I still think it was a very creative take on a story about Dracula. So if I had to give it a rating, I'd probably give it three and a half stars. And again, that's only because, you know, those are subjective. It's my personal opinion because I feel like there could have been more. I just wanted more, which I guess isn't really a bad thing when you finish a book that you still liked. You leave it wanting more. So again, it's not even like a knock. It's just my opinion. But yes, and now I have started uh, Let Us Descend. I'm about 30 pages in, already heartbroken. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to work my way through that one, maybe today, tomorrow, and then hopefully um, Saturday on our travels home, I can crack open that time I got drunk and saved a demon. It's possible I won't finish the other two, you know, between today, tomorrow, and Saturday with our travel day, but I know I will make progress in all of them, and I will finally get to visit the bookstore uh, tomorrow. So I'll take you along for that as well. Essentially having a fancy lady day today. Not so fancy, but if you've ever seen that show, The League, maybe you'll know what I'm talking about. Where basically the lady gets to just kind of do whatever she wants for the day. Right, I'm just doing it on my own, but that's okay. 
It's our last day here and I'm on my way to a yoga class and then I'm gonna get some coffee and then I'm gonna go explore the bookstore here.